Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and I am an online reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. And I am going to be talking today about the flip reseller tool. Specifically today, we're gonna talk about the Crosslister. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you stay, stick around and see what we got to talk about. Okay, so let's get started with the flip cross lister. As you can see right now, we are showing my Poshmark sharer through flip and you can see that it is sharing for me. We're not gonna get too much into the sharer today. Um, that will be for another video. Today we're gonna talk about the cross lister. So I'm gonna come up here to the cross lister and click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one item completely from scratch. Um, but when I say completely from scratch, I, I let me backtrack that. We're actually gonna import it from Poshmark and then cross-list it to eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've never actually done one completely from scratch because I do my pictures on my phone and um, I don't wanna have to transfer pictures from my phone to my computer. So I always do my original listing in Poshmark and then cross list um, through Flip on my computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on new item. Okay, and so this is where if you were gonna do it from scratch on your computer, you would do it right here on this universal form. And other than to tell you that that's where you do it and you just fill in the things, I've never actually done it. So um, that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> but actually what I do is I go Poshmark. I click on Poshmark right there. And then it shows you in, it puts your Poshmark items in chronological order starting with your most recent new or relisted items. So something that would show up as new on Poshmark. Um, these, for example, these are new items right here, but for example, like this jacket and this pair of shoes, I actually relisted them, um, as you can see. So we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you, um, if you were to do multiple items, you can import up to 20 at a time at this point, and you would just click on each one that you want. Um, you know what, we'll just go ahead and import. Well, no, I'm only gonna import one. But anyways, once you select all 20 that you wanna import up to 20, you would click import right here. We're just gonna do one just because to save time in this video. Um, we're just gonna, <coughs> excuse me, we're just gonna do this one. So we're gonna click import one. And hopefully this will only take a few seconds. Um, normally I do, yeah, there it went pretty fast. Normally I do do the 20 and it takes uh, maybe two or three, four minutes for the 20 to go through. So I just do something else while it's doing that. Um, I do recommend doing this in batches. Um, what I recommend doing is importing 20 and then cross-listing those 20 and then importing another 20 and then cross-listing those 20. Because if you import your entire closet all at once, and then try to cross list, you're sorting through, you have to go through pages and pages and pages and pages of things that you've imported. And I kind of did that when I first did this. I imported, I don't know, probably two or 300 all at once, um, 20 at a time, and then started cross listing. But it became like kind of cumbersome because I was going through pages and pages of things that I'd already cross-listed in order to get to the things that I haven't cross-listed. So I would recommend doing this in batches where you import 20, you do what you want to do those 20 as far as cross-listing, and then you move on to another 20 as opposed to doing your whole um, closet at once. Okay, so now we're going to click on go to items, and that's going to take me to all my items that I have in Flip. Um, so this is what we just imported from Facebook, I mean, from Poshmark. Um, and it will be the Poshmark details and everything. Um, just to show you, this will, I'm going to scroll down a second to some of the other ones that I've already cross-listed. So once you cross-list it, it will tell you what platforms you have this item on. So you have, I have this item on Poshmark, eBay, and Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so we're going to go to this item right here and cross-list it. 
Okay, so when I click on it, it's going to take me to that universal form. And it's filled out that universal form with all my information for me. Um, and you can see it says Poshmark, it's listed. Macari, eBay, and Facebook, all drafts. Okay, so it's taken that information from the Poshmark um, that I've imported and created drafts uh, for these marketplaces for me. But let's do eBay first. Okay, so as you can see, we're missing a lot of stuff, <laughs> but there's all my pictures and there's my description and my title and blah, blah, blah. So um, we've got it. Sometimes it doesn't fill in the color and sometimes it does. I'm not sure what's up with that, but this is a um, blouse. So we're going to select. I'm using my touch screen. Um, I hope that doesn't throw anybody off, but we're going to select. Uh, I, you know what? I'll use the mouse just so you can see. So clothing, shoes, and accessories, women, um, and then we're going to do clothing, and it is, the touch screen so much easier because I just lost it all. <laughs> clothing, I'm going to use the touch screen, sorry people. And then we got to go down to the bottom where it says tops. Um, this is a size small, so small, whoops, my touch screen's not perfect. And it is a regular size. So you can see it's got all the, the size options, but this is a regular size. And it is a blouse. Um, and this is going to go women's department. And it is, this one's new with tags, I believe. Yes, new with tags. So I'm going to click new with tags. Now this is a lightweight on, op, item. So here I'm going to do my shipping. Um, I do flat shipping. I do a three-day handling time. This is a light item, so I'm going to do the first class. Oop, went crazy. I'm going to do the first class package because I believe this will be under a pound. And I do a $4.29 typically for first um, class packages um, just because I'm not, I don't weigh every single thing prior I'm going to be honest, I don't weigh things until I actually ship them, and I really only weigh the things that I do first class, so if I think it's going to be less than a pound, um, and I don't know exactly the specifics of how much it breaks it down at each point, so I kind of go in the middle and do 429, and you know, some, some shipments it's going to be a little more, and some shipments is going to be less, and it should all even out in the wash for me. Um, at this point, I'm not doing a lot of auction styles because I am new to um, to um, eBay. So I've just been doing fixed price. And I will lower my prices a little bit because um, eBay doesn't take out as many fees. So I'm actually going to lower this price. Let's see. Let's do $32.99. Um, and it's, you know, if you're not familiar with eBay, they it likes the 99s and the 98s and stuff like that. I also allow best offer. So now I'm going to do list on eBay. Boop, ba doop, boop, boop. And it only takes a few seconds. It says up to 30, but it doesn't usually take that long. And you'll see now this draft has changed to listed. Okay. So now we'll go to Facebook right here and Facebook doesn't require quite as much um, so we're gonna quickly go through it real quick do, 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 do. and I'm gonna do shipping only I'm not I'm new to Facebook um, marketplace also so uh, I'm gonna select I don't think it's going to be this under a half pound. I, it might possibly because it is very lightweight. But I'm going to do this half to one pound and do the first class shipping. And then allow offers. Now, I will say at the current moment, this is taking longer. So we'll click on list to Facebook. And you'll see this. This will pop up right here. So I'm going to click off and back on. And then you could kind of see it going through the process and you can sit here and watch it and see like it does kind of take a minute. This takes a little longer than the 30 seconds, even though it says it's taking 30 seconds. It does take a little longer. And I have actually noticed that right here in a second, it does sometimes get into a little hiccup. But if I just kind of wait it out, um, you know, I'll just do something else. 
cross list, I'm not cross list, but relist um, stale inventory or whatever on my phone while it's doing this. And it will eventually finish um, its process right here is where sometimes it gets kind of stuck and it will pop up a little error message right here, here in a second. There it goes. Um, and if I click on that and then click next, it goes back into the process. Or if I'm not there to click on, like if I'm just looking at my phone doing something else, it does eventually like start back up again. So don't feel like you have to um, do a lot right there because you don't. Um, it eventually gets going again. Um, that was just because I happened to be sitting here looking at it. And, you know, for the time of the video, we don't want to stare at the screen for too long. But it is almost done. It's coming to the end. It should finish here in just a second. Any second. We'll sing a little song while we're waiting for it to finish. How about the Jeopardy song? <laughs> there it goes. Okay. So now you can see it hasn't cleared yet, but you can see that it's right here in my list of things um, on there. So we're going to go back. Oh, and it stopped. It's done now. So we're going to go back over here to flip and you'll see it says Facebook listed. Okay. So one other thing that I just want to show you real quick with this is that you can, um, one thing that I really liked about this is that you can kind of trick Poshmark a little bit um, in that you can easily delist and relist an item. I'm not going to do that with this item. Hold on. Maybe we'll go to something that's kind of stale just to show you. Um, so you can kind of trick Poshmark up a little bit. Um, and, uh, and, you know, get a new, get a new, get it listed as new, you know, get your item to come in as new. Um, we're just going to pick something, I don't know, blah, 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 something, some of this stuff just is super stale anyways. Um, I'm just trying to think of something that wouldn't have a lot of likes on it, probably. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose all my likes. How about, this doesn't typically have a lot of likes on it. So, for example... Um, if we were going to do this right here, we'd click on, so right now we're on the universal form. So we're going to click over to Poshmark and we would simply go down here to D list. So it's removing it from Poshmark successfully. You're, it's been removed. So it's deleting it from Poshmark and then we'll just scroll back down and put list on Poshmark. So it's listing it on Poshmark. And so it's essentially doing a very similar thing to what the copy feature would do, but it's 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 a uh, it's a uh, skipping. It's it's allowing you to get that just in. So we'll go to just in, and it should be the very first thing now. See where there we go, just in right there. Okay, so it that was a quick easy way, and I could do it with anything. I could do it with one of these things that was just that I literally just did. Let's see, like this doesn't have any likes, so let's do this one right here. Okay, so we'll, and we'll, I'll show you that this will then pop over, hold on, let's do something a little bit. We'll do this little, this little um, dress right here. So there's no likes on it right now. I just relisted it yesterday, but we'll go look at it real quick and I'll show you. So it's a brand new listing. So if I was to use the copy feature on that, hold on, I just remembered I'm all the way down at the bottom of <laughs> my search. Well, where is it? Oh, you know what? That was a relist. That wasn't imported. Okay, so, hmm, what else can I? I'm sorry, let me think. That was a relist that was not imported. Did I just see this little sweater right here on there? Yes. Okay, we'll do that one. Okay, so that was a relist that I have imported over. I haven't imported that other one yet. Okay, and there's no like, so we're not going to lose anything. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Okay, we're going to go to Poshmark listing, and we're going to scroll down, and we're going to delist. 
takes just a few seconds. It says it's successful. And then we're going to list on Poshmark. And this was already a new listing, as you just saw. It was already a fairly new listing. I literally just did it yesterday. Um, so we're just going to wait for it to finish. And then we're going to go back over here to Poshmark. We're going to refresh this. And that little sweater should be at the very beginning now. We are in the just in, not the just shared. We are in the just in sort. So, you know, we have, so we have this one that I just, uh, delisted and relisted. We have this other one I just relisted and delisted. And we have this one that was a brand new listing. Um, so you can see that that's a good way to like get to relist inventory that's kind of not getting a lot of attention and you want to get it into the just in um, or you've reached your bottom price and you want to get it to come up as just in, but it hasn't yet achieved the 60 days in order to use the copy feature to get it to just in. So just a little tip or trick that you can use for that um, and that I really enjoyed using and I thought it was a great option. So that is essentially the cross-lister feature. Um, I just want to remind you that the, this flip reseller tools are still fairly new. Um, they are still going through um, some um, beta testing. And so we're going to click back over to the share just to, you know, let let it do its thing and, and watch it watch it do all its magic. Um, so it is still in beta testing and so it's not perfect yet. Um, it still has glitches here and there. Um, when something does happen, you just report it. But the beauty of this is that it's absolutely free. Everything that it's doing is free. It's sharing my closet, free. I'm cross-listing to multiple platforms. It doesn't have every platform yet, but it's got the main ones. So it's, and that's free. Um, there, there's a whole bunch of other features here, free. And there's more stuff coming. Um, I've heard that they're adding Depop and I think um, either Tradesy or Shopify. Hold on, it might be on here. Okay, so they've got Etsy coming soon, Depop coming soon, and Shopify coming soon. So those are coming soon for the cross-lister. Um, the the share um, from what I've heard from the um, people who work with Flip, they have said that they are getting soon to be adding a share back and follow back feature so that you can sh do community shares and follow back people who follow you which is great because currently this does not do this i'm not going to get into a lot of what this feature does right here but because we've talked we'll talk about it in another video um but there's also just so you know there's also um i've i'm just i'm brand new to depop and as you can see i've not had any sales yet but it, they've also got this depop um sh share or refresh listing because that's what depop does is you do refresh listing it kind of brings you to the top and you literally just put this chrome extension on you go to your depop store and you click refresh listings and just like that it refreshes all your listings bing bang boom now depop is very bot um they don't like their bots at all <laughs> they do not like bots so they are recommending to not do this very often um, I have a very small closet. I'm doing it like maybe once a day, twice a day, once every other day. I'm kind of trying to be sporadic about it. But instead of me having to like go in and edit, and I, I have a small store, um, but instead of me having to go in and edit all these to get them to refresh, I can just click that one button, even if it's just once a day or once every other day, also free. So um, I guess that's all we have to say about this for right now. Um, if you are interested in this feature, in this uh, Flip Reseller Tools, I will have a link in the description in order for you to get uh, put onto the waiting list. You do have to be um, invited. Um, so I will have that link for the invitation. Um, the waiting list uh, fluctuates uh, how long it is, but from what I understand at this moment, um, it is not very long. It is just a few days. Um, there was one point where it was up to like two and three weeks long, but I think right now it's just a few days long. Um, so if you, this is a great thing to do right now. This cross lister, this free cross lister is a really great thing to do right now. If you are a Poshmark seller who has noticed that the algorithm 
changes and the search engine changes have just killed, dried up your sales and you are struggling to make sales and you are ready to um, expand your business into other platforms in order to have more consistent sales so that you're not solely dependent on Poshmark. So um, this cross-lister for free will allow you to do those things and you don't have to pay um, a service like you would to some other cross-listing services, a fee to some other cross-listing services or a subscription. Um, so I highly recommend it, highly recommend it. Again, it is not 100% perfect, but for free, it's excellent. So go ahead and uh, click that referral code, get on the wait list and start cross-listing and start sharing to make more sales. Um, again, my name's Heather. My um, Poshmark closet name and all my closet names and store names is Hot Posh, uh, Hot Posh Fashions. And I really appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from this video, be sure to click like, share it with your friends, share it in your um, Facebook groups um, that you have um, with your other resellers. Um, and don't forget to um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I love um, putting out tips and tricks videos like this with um, on different you know Poshmark or different platforms or whatever tools I'm using. I also do haul videos and what sold videos and things of that nature. So if you are a reseller who um, loves information. Um, and entertainment like this, and then be sure to subscribe so that you know when I put out a new video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You guys have a blessed day.